The federal government is taking a bold step to keep tabs on convicted child sex offenders at home and abroad. Prime Minister Stephen Harper unveiled the proposed legislation today. Convicted sex offenders would have to notify authorities before they leave Canada, and foreign countries would in turn be alerted to their arrival. It's one part of a new law targeting child sex offenders, but as Robin Gill reports, it may rely too much on the offenders telling the truth. An infamous picture that revealed a Canadian predator. Christopher Neal was convicted of sexually abusing two young brothers in Thailand. He's back in Canada and back in jail for breaching his bail conditions. But when he gets out and wants to travel again, he has to alert Canadian authorities. That's if the Prime Minister has his way with new proposed legislation. Gaps in information collection and sharing, as well as gaps in enforcement, mean child predators can slip over our borders unmonitored. That is going to change. It's part of the federal government's Tougher Penalties for Child Predators Act. The proposal includes a public online national sex offender registry and travel notifications for high-risk offenders who leave Canada. So border officials would have access to the database but most sex offenders already have to report their movements to police. There's a legislative requirement given their conditions upon release that they have to report their travel plans and uh, I think it's very important that we're also able to notify other countries of the arrival of these individuals. The onus would be on the sex offenders to report their movements and there is the risk they could lie. As it stands now unless the police are aware that an offender is moving, is changing locations from one community to another or traveling from one country to another, often they slip through the cracks and we only find out later that when they've gone to these other countries or they've gone to these other communities, they've continued to offend. Those agencies who work with victims of sex offenders applaud the government's move. I want to see it go yesterday. I need, it, it can never be fast enough for me, but, but the point is we're making progress. There will undoubtedly be challenges to the legislation, including privacy issues. The goal is to make sure the public knows who these predators are so they don't hide in the shadows. Robin Gill, Global News, Richmond, B.C.